Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quicker review for you guys on the Juicebox Pro 40 Smart Electric Vehicle Charging Station. Uh, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd kind of give you guys my two cents, just based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. So after doing quite a bit of research, uh, this was the one I settled on, and I guess if you want the quick version of this review, I'm extremely happy with it and I highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking for an alternative to the Tesla charging station or just a, in general a very very good quality charging station that puts out a lot of power and charges your EV really quickly this is the one to get in my opinion. Um, the 40 amp is the more powerful version they used to make a 32 in fact they still make the 32 amp version uh, but the 40 amp um, puts out a lot more power, uh, 8 amps in fact more, <laughs> but it doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually cuts down your charging time by quite a bit. Pretty much every single EV out there will support 40 amp charging. Um, there may be a few oddballs out there, but nothing in the United States, let me put it that way. If you have an electric vehicle in the US, it will support 40 amp charging. So the big question is that you're probably thinking is, well, how much faster is it than a standard 30 amp charger? Well, based off my observances and calculations, it's about 30% quicker. So in other words, um, what normally would take you an hour to charge, uh, or the range you would get with an hour's worth of charge, you would get the same range with 40 minutes of charge. Or another way to look at it is, Whatever time it takes you to get, say, 100 miles of range, um, that same amount of time you'll get 130 miles of range, which is actually a lot quicker. Um, surprisingly, it makes a big difference. Now, this needs to be plugged into a 220 or 240 volt uh, line. Um, now, it can work with 120, but you're pretty much defeating the entire purpose of getting this unit. Um, it's not going to be fast at all, so I would imagine that everybody who buys this or is looking for one, you need to get a NEMA outlet, um, which is a 220 or 240 volt. So that's something you'll either need or have to have an electrician put in beforehand. Um, depending on how close it is, usually most boxes, uh, utility boxes are near the garage, so it shouldn't be very expensive to have one put in, probably around $200 maybe, um, depending on, like I said, the distance uh, from your utility box and how far they have to run it. Um, one thing I really like about the juice box is the app that it comes with. It's a really good app. It's on par with like the Tesla apps. Now you can still use your Tesla app, of course, if you have a Tesla. Uh, with it. It works fine, runs great with it, but the app that comes with it, um, <clears throat> it just, uh, it, it has good monitoring. You can really track uh, the charging and how much electricity it's using. It's very detailed and it's just very well laid out. Uh, it's not buggy. It doesn't crash. It just seems to work very well. It's all web-based. Um, I'm not sorry, it's not web-based, but you can control it from the internet. So if you have a smartphone, um, you can set it to charge, stop charging, or anything, even if you're away from the house, which is nice. But yeah, very highly recommended. Um, really, really like this thing. If you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.